Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Setup a vendor. In Business Central, vendors are the primary player in purchasing processes because they supply the products that businesses sell. This video will look at the basic settings for setting up a new vendor. To create a new vendor, in the search field, we'll type Vendors and then choose the Vendors link in the search results. On the Vendors list page, we'll choose New to open a new vendor card. If we have defined templates for vendors, a page will open asking us to select the template to use. Creating templates for different types of vendors can save us time and increase consistency when we create new vendors. Templates contain information that is the same, or often the same, for all vendors of a certain type. When we choose a template, the information in the template is automatically added to our new vendor. We have a template, so let's choose it. Now we'll fill in the name field. On the General Fast tab, we can also define the Purchaser and the Responsibility Center. On the Address and Contact Fast tab, we'll enter contact information for the vendor, such as their address, phone numbers, and email address. Next, we'll move on to the Invoicing Fast tab. Under Posting Details, we can define how this vendor will post to the General Ledger. The Vendor Posting Group defines the Payables account, and the General Business Posting Group defines the General Ledger accounts to use for our purchases from this vendor. If the vendor uses a different currency, we can specify that in the Currency Code field. Whenever we use this vendor, transactions will be made in this currency, unless we specify otherwise. If the vendor requires prepayments, on the Prepayments Fast tab, we can specify a percentage in the Prepayment Percentage field. This will be applied when we create purchase orders for this vendor. We can also define how quickly we need to pay invoices from the vendor by choosing an option in the Payment Terms Code field. We can also define how we'll make payments to the vendor in the Payment Method Code field. Finally, if we want to prioritize payments for our vendors when we use the Suggest Payments capability, we can specify a priority for the vendor. And we're done. We can now start buying from our new vendor.